What's up you guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Rock and Go 10 inch portable PA speaker. This is the perfect speaker to bring to any parties, small speaking events or performances, karaoke and much more. So the wheels on the bottom of the speaker along with the handle on top make it easy to bring to any gig or event and the handles on the side of the speaker make it easy to carry as well. So as you can see you'll get the speaker itself, a wireless microphone, an attachable mic holder that we can set up to the side of the speaker, an aux cable, an RCA to aux cable, a wireless remote control, and a power cable. Now the first thing we can do to set up the speaker is take the included power cable, take the female end and plug it into the back of the speaker, then take the other end and plug that into a power outlet. Now the cool thing about the included power cable is that it will actually charge up your speaker so we can use it later on without having to connect it to power. We can also use the 12 volt battery ports on the back of the speaker to charge it up through an external source. To have the speaker run off the battery, you'll just want to flip the power switch all the way down to battery power mode, but for now we'll flip it all the way up to have it running through the power cable. Now as I mentioned before, the Rock and Go 10 comes with an attachable mic holder that we can set up to the left side of the speaker. To do that, we'll just line the holder up to the two holes here on the side, then we'll use the included screws to keep the holder in place. So next we'll want to set up the wireless microphone. For this we'll need to grab a pair of AA batteries, then we'll just unscrew this end cap here on the microphone to reveal the battery compartment. Then we'll just want to insert the batteries and then twist the end cap of the microphone back up. So now before I test out the speaker, I'm just going to want to take it out of standby mode by pressing the input button here. Next we can raise the mic volume knob here on top of the speaker. Then we'll want to raise the volume knob here as well. So now if we turn on our microphone, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speaker. It's also worth noting that we can set the microphone to standby mode by flipping the power switch to the middle. Now in addition to the wireless microphone, we can also use the two quarter inch mic inputs on top of the speaker. You'll just want to be sure to use a female XLR to quarter inch cable to connect the microphone to these inputs. We also have the XLR input on the back of the speaker that we can use to set up a microphone through a XLR cable. You'll just want to be sure to set the input mode to aux 3 to hear it coming out of your speaker. Now we also have the aux 1 input on top of the speaker that we can use to connect any smartphone or tablet. You'll just want to be sure to set the input to aux 1 to hear the music coming through the speakers. You also have the USB and memory card inputs on top of the speaker to hear music from those sources as well. Just be sure to set the input mode to USB to hear the music coming from those sources. Now the Rock and Go 10 also gives you the ability to plug in a guitar or a line level instrument through the quarter inch guitar input here. After plugging your instrument into the speaker, you'll just want to raise the guitar volume knob here. Then you'll want to raise the volume knob here at the end of the speaker. Raise the volume on your instrument and you should be able to hear it coming from your speaker. There's also a TRS quarter inch input on the back of the speaker as well. To hear that connection, you'll just want to be sure to set the input to aux 3. On top of that, we have the RCA line input and output on the back of the speaker. You could use the included RCA to aux cable to plug in any smart smartphone or tablet. You would just take the RCA ends and plug them into the RCA line input on the back of the speaker, then take the other end and plug that into your device. This will also work if you wanted to connect a mixer to the speaker through the RCA line input. You can also use the RCA line output to connect the Rock and Go to another speaker for an even bigger setup. For this you'll want to take an RCA cable, take one end and plug it into the RCA line output on the back of the Rock and Go, then take the other end and plug that into the RCA line input on the next speaker. And now for any of the RCA connections, you'll want to be sure to set the input mode to aux 2. Another really cool feature on the Rock and Go is the echo knob here that we can use to give our voice an echo effect. We can also really dial in the sound coming out of the speaker through the bass and treble knobs here. We would use the bass knob to adjust all the low end frequencies coming out of the speaker, and we would use the treble knob to control all the high end frequencies coming out of the speaker. Then you would just want to set it accordingly depending on your sound preference. So now let's move on to the buttons here on top of the Rock and Go 10. The record button will actually record any audio coming into the Rock and Go 10 on your USB drive. And you can play it back by pressing the record play button right next to it. The mic priority button will actually lower the music coming out of the speaker when talking into your wireless microphone. The repeat button will repeat any track you're listening to through the speaker. Then we have the previous or rewind, the pause or play, 
and fast forward or skip buttons that we can use to control music playback. And then we have the input and standby button that we can use to switch between sources or set the speaker to standby mode when we're not using it. And we can also control all of these features through the wireless remote control. Now the Rock and Go 10 also has Bluetooth compatibility so we can pair any smartphone or tablet. For this, you'll want to set the input to Bluetooth mode on the Rock and Go 10. And when you hear that sound, you'll know the speaker is set to Bluetooth mode. Next, you'll want to go into the Bluetooth settings on your smartphone or tablet. Look for the device Rock and Go 10 and click on it to pair. And you'll know your smartphone or tablet is connected to the speaker when you hear those chimes. So let's hear how the speaker sounds. set up for karaoke sessions as well. If we use the connected device to look up a karaoke version of a song on the YouTube app and use the wireless microphone to sing along while the music plays in the background. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Rock and Go 10 inch portable PA speaker. However, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Perry from Rockville and I'll see you next time. Wow, 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 wow.